Ball's head football coach Josh Heupel received a pretty big raise after his first season on Rocky Top. He's not the only one on the staff who was seeing a bump. Karthik Vinkatraman joins us now to break it down. Hey, Karthik. Hey, John, how's it going? Yeah, Josh Heupel made $4 million last year. He's making $5 million this year, meaning he got a $1 million raise. And his contract extended now through 2028 instead of 2027. We'll break it down a little more. His bonuses didn't really change much, but let's take a look at him anyway. Winning an SEC championship game would net him $300,000. Just appearing in the SEC championship game would get him $100,000. A top five finish in the AP USA Today or coaches poll or the CFP poll would get him $150,000. Top 10 finish, $100,000. Top 25 finish, that would get him $50,000. For a full list of all the opportunities for the coach to get some bonuses, you can go to WBIR.com. A lot of assistants, well, as you mentioned, got raises too. Most notable offensive coordinator, Alex Golish. He went from $750,000 to $1.2 million. He got the highest raise other than Josh Heupel on the coaching staff. Defensive coordinator, Tim Banks, went from $1.3 million to $1.4 million. Defensive line coach, Rodney Garner, his salary went up $150,000. Special teams coordinator Mike Eckler, well, he received a $125,000 raise. And those were all the guys that received a $100,000 raise or more on UT's coaching staff. For a full list of all the assistant coaches that received a raise, you can go to WBIR.com. We also lay out all those bonuses for Josh Heupel's contract and also his buyout in case it ever comes to that. Also, one more note, John, the Akron game for tomorrow. Been sold out, athletic director Danny White announced. First time since 2015 that Tennessee has sold out a non-conference game at home. Back to you.